A simple memorial marks where Aubrey Hawkins lost his life, the street now named in his honor. You hear about the man just trying to do his job and protect and serve us, and he gets gunned down that way. There's a bullet hole here and here. One of the managers at Oshman's that night, Wes Ferris, still owns the Ford Explorer George Rebus used as the getaway car after he and the rest of the Texas 7 robbed the store. Blood still stains the carpet. If I were to sell it, get rid of the vehicle, it'd be like giving in to them. And I wasn't going to let them take over my life. They took over that night, but that was all they were going to take over. He and the others in the store that night say Rebus, more than any other, deserves the death penalty, happy with the jury's decision. He was their leader. He's the one that directed me around the store that night and said, do this, do that, and it's over with. But they'll never forget Rebus or the man he killed. Their lives changed forever. I believe that Officer Hawkins saved our life that night, and there's nothing that anyone can ever say to change my mind about that. You'll never forget that, no matter what happens. Irving police officers also tell of a sense of relief at the death sentence for Rebus. We'll never forget. I'll never forget but also a promise to keep Aubrey Hawkins' memory alive, his sacrifice a testament to his life. We don't want to ever forget, but we, you know, we have to move on, but we'll never forget. In Irving, Kevin Coakley, NBC5.